Hello everybody, sorry I kind of look like a hot mess, this is not my usual look, I just have been playing with makeup recently and I just wanted to, yeah, try. So today I'm reviewing the 11th Fear Street Seniors book called Prom Date, or The Prom Date, it depends on what version you have. Um, and I love this book also because I just realized this book is fucking signed by R.L. Stein himself. Like I was just flipping through and I saw that on the very back. So I'm very happy. <laughs> I had absolutely no idea, so I'm ecstatic <laughs> that I own not only all of the Steiner's books, but a, a signed one. So that's very exciting. But the premise of this one is Jennifer Fear is trying to find a prom date, and she's like pissy and salty because everyone has a prom date but her. And so she basically, this one's kind of weird because it has to deal with like that magic stuff. Um, Trisha Conrad, who is actually a fear, gives her this, um, glass bow that, like, grants wishes or something, and she imagines up, like, this perfect guy, and all of a sudden, this random guy, like, calls her and is like, hey, girl, we met, like, last year at a camp, and this dumbass bitch <laughs> just, like, goes along with it, and she's like, oh, I don't remember, like, Girl, it was the last year. I would think you would remember that. You know what I mean? Like, it was kind of irritating. Um, and throughout the book, she's just like, oh, I don't know him. And he's being shady because he, like, ghosted her at one point and then makes all these fucking excuses. And um, So they go to prom, and she goes to prom with this guy named Duke Carpenter, which is literally this guy she wished for. Um, and everything's fine, kind of. Um, this random, like, glass ball like, falls during the prom and almost kills her date, which is why I think there's, like, glass on the cover. I didn't know that, I didn't know if that was glass when I first saw this cover, but it definitely is. Um, and also Jennifer had a dream anyways of her, um, date getting hit by a fucking disco ball or a glass ball, whatever. Um, so that came true. And Trisha had a vision of a senior being curled up in a ball, bloody. Um, so, and usually her premonitions come true, and it does in this one. Um, so after prom, they're all getting into this limo, and all of a sudden, Duke, out of nowhere, attacks this guy named Will, and nearly beats him to death. Like, it's really crazy. And he takes Josie, Maddie, Jennifer, and that's it, I'm pretty sure. That is it. <laughs> those three. Um, and they go to Fear Island to have like an after prom thing. And pretty much what happened is, look, I, hold on, I got back up. Did I take lipstick? I did not. Um, but on the way to the after prom on the island, they, Duke stops by a bar and Gary Fresno and Trisha Conrad go by there. And there's like this massive fight and then Gary is, like, stabbed and killed by this Duke guy, which kind of feels random. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but also, like, he was an asshole. Like, I kind of liked his character. Like, I wasn't that happy that he died, but, like, also, you know, yeah. Um, one thing that irritates me is Will does not die. You know, he's nearly beaten to death. There's, like, no mention of him surviving it. And then in book 12, you see he's completely fine. So it's, like, irritating. It's never, like, irk of mine with this series, um, but yeah, I'm trying to think about anything else I need to mention. So it turns out that this guy named Duke was actually just, she basically summoned him or something, like, she's feeling a lot of rage about not getting a date, and also everyone getting murdered in the senior class, and she's like, uh, I hate this, and then she wished for this boy, and this, like, boat that Trisha gave her made this perfect boy, but also took all of her rage and put it inside of him. So, he's, like, this crazy psycho. Um, and it turns out this, like, evil spirit actually makes an appearance in this one. And he's, like, the limo driver. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, this isn't my favorite, but it is. It's not my favorite. I don't know what my favorite seniors book would be. Um, but it was good. Um, next time we're gonna be reading the final book called Graduation Day. I'm very excited for that. Um, so, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to mention. No. If you guys like this video, please go to big thumbs up and subscribe to watch all of my seniors reviews. I have all of them up on my channel. I should by then. Yeah. Um, so, bye. Mwah.